I'm feeling great. I'm looking forward to Saturday night. I'm in boxing since I remember myself. It's a long trip uh, to be here. And of course, I sacrifice uh, a lot and I sacrifice to my time, uh, to my health sometimes. And uh, every time working hard, uh, if you want to achieve uh, something, uh, you have uh, sacrificed and work hard. And within those sacrifices, you know, the birthdays you may have missed and everything you've given up to be here, to be on a stage like this, fighting Canelo Alvarez, has it made everything worth it for you? Um, of, of course it's uh, worth it. Uh, uh, because uh, boxing, it's, uh, uh, it's part of my life. It's uh, boxing and life. My, I, I can't imagine my life without boxing. And of course it's worth it. And I'm glad where I am now. Canelo has said the reason he's looking forward to this fight with you is because he loves challenges. What is it about this clash with Canelo Alvarez that excites Dimitri Bivol? All my pro career, uh, I was a guy who, who should win the fight. And people say, ah, Bivol should win. It's, uh, but now more people say uh, Canelo should win. And I understand why, because he has a big uh, boxing fans uh, Base. Cut? Fan base. Fan base, yeah. And uh, now this is a big challenge for me to prove myself, to prove people, and to check my skills, uh, what I'm cost uh, in the ring, uh, how my boxing quality is, is good. When you're coming up against a fighter like Canelo, physical preparation is one thing, but mental preparation is another. How important is your own self-belief when you're heading into a fight like this? You know, uh, I love boxing because uh, it's not a competition uh, only for speed or only for power or only for, uh, for your brain. It's uh, all together and of course you have to be ready for everything for, and you have to prepare your all, uh, your all qualities. Uh, your speed, your power, and uh, one of the main things is uh, mentally. Of course, you have to believe in yourself. You have to be ready uh, to, went, uh, to go to the ring and uh, fighting when all people uh, against you or all people support you. And so, of course, this is a sport where all qualities uh, should be good. I would describe you, Dimitri, as a very calm person, a very relaxed person. How important is that attitude you have in life when it comes to keeping your composure in the ring? I think uh, all people uh, is uh, different. Some people are uh, too funny. Some people spend a lot of energy. Uh, me is uh, common, common people, com calm people and uh, to be uh, the same like you in the life, to be the same in the ring, it's a uh, more important thing. Uh, I don't want to mm, do something uh, else what I am not. Uh, I want to do everywhere uh, how I am. I want to be uh, really in the ring. I'm in life common and I want to be uh, common in the ring too. When you think back then to the life lessons you were taught as a child, what is it that keeps you humble and keeps your feet on the ground the way that they are? Maybe it's from, uh, from childhood, but yeah. how we are brought up, maybe this is from this, from our parents or, or teachers or coaches. Canelo has been in the ring with so many different opponents with different styles, but there is only one, Dimitri Bivo. What is it about your style, perhaps the combination of skills, which you feel can present a new challenge to him. I just want to say again, uh, all people, all boxers, uh, difference, and we are all uh, unique uh, people with uh, unique qualities. Uh, and uh, my uh, pack of qualities is unique too. And uh, I'm pretty sure um, all my opponents was different. Uh, they were unique and me too. Of course, for him, I will be something new and he 
will be for me something new too. People who know boxing, have watched Dimitri Bivol and know how good he is, know this is, has the potential to be a very tough fight for Canelo, but do you still feel that you are being overlooked? I don't think about it. Um, I'm just think about only my fight and it doesn't matter which plans uh, he has, which plans we, we have after fight. Uh, now, uh, for me, only uh, one plan. Uh, this is a plan on the fight on the May 7. The pound for pound power is real. You are the champion, but you're on the away side of the poster. You will walk first to the ring on Saturday night. Do you have any thoughts on that? I don't think about it. Who on the posters uh, from left side, who the right side. It, it doesn't matter for me now. It's, uh, for me, main thing It's just I have a fight and we will be together on, in the ring. And this is the main thing, what I'm thinking about. I will ask Sal this question as well, but when people are talking about Dimitri Bivol in the years to come, how do you hope to be remembered? I don't know. I, I don't know. I hope uh, I just uh, win this fight because I believe and I hope I will win. And uh, what I just want to um, that people think about me how uh, about a good boxer who, who can make uh, something good in the ring and uh, people can learn, can take uh, something from, from them. And just finally, I know you're a believer of speaking things into existence, so we will do that. When you beat Canelo Alvarez on Saturday night, how much do you believe that will shake up the boxing world? I don't think about uh, what will be after fight or what, be, what will be May 8. Uh, I just think about only fight and uh, I just think about uh, I'm on focus, I'm f now I'm focused on the fight and I think only the fight, uh, not uh, spend my energy for thinking about what will be if I win or if I lose, what people think. No, uh, I'm focused only on the fight and we will see and we will see what will happen. Dimitri Bivo, wish you the very best of luck this weekend. Thank you.